What's up, guys? It's Molly from Star MS. Woo 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 doo doo doo. I'm here with all the signs. We're gonna see who this reading is for. Who is it for? Taurus. We've got our Taurus friends here. What's up, Taurus? All right, Taurus. I have um. I got called to this deck. This is the Star MS Messages from the Mid Century. This is um, a mid century modern house that has all these different furniture and messages that you're supposed to get from the house. So that has something to do with your read if you're uh, ruminating on the 50s. <laughs> Maybe mid-century modern is your jam. You like that kind of thing. Let's see. Let's see. What is this all about? What do we got going on for Taurus? What messages do you have to say for our Taurian friends? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. All right, Taurus. This cool table right here says, My mind is clear of self-doubt. And I am ready to embrace every challenge that comes my way. All right, Taurus, that's the theme of this, of this spread right here. My mind is clear of self-doubt, and I'm ready to embrace every challenge that comes my way. All right, Taurus, fantastic. Love it. All right. I got called to the Antique Anatomy deck. Woo, this just shot out. The Fool, the card of Aries, Aquarius energy. Um, this is taking the leap. This is um, starting a journey. Um, I, I'm really looking at these morning glories right here. Morning glories might have something... Something to do with you? This card just fell out. What is this card here? The sun. All right. So you're taking the leap into happiness towards something good. What is it? What is this? What is this leap for Taurus with the sun? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, here's a story that just came out. So we have the five of coins. The Knight of Coins and the Two of Blades. Okay, so you've been feeling kind of out in the cold, kind of, um, you know, just bankrupt, like um, maybe emotionally bankrupt, maybe even like monetarily bankrupt. You've just been out in the cold. Um, and it's been for a while, and because we have the Knight of Coins here, and the Knight of Coins, he just doesn't move very, very long, and he's looking at how long you've been out in the cold. And there's a decision that has to be made. We have the Two of Blades here, and so, um, we have, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. And you may be making a decision about a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so what is this decision? What's the decision? Whoa. Let's see. We have the Six of Blades. This is the card of mutual admiration. This is of triumph. This is of going forward. This is the victory. This card right here is the victory. So this per you might see this person as a prize. This might be, uh, I don't know why I said a prize. Um, you might admire this person. This might be somebody who is a little mysterious to you. You don't really know everything they're all about and and they might not freak you out a little bit but intrigue you um and vice versa i see this is vice versa and you to them um you also may be mirroring each other we have um the ones um or excuse me the blades are 
Okay, so let's see here now. I read this as the Six of Wands, and this is the Six of Blades. So there's something in that. Um, there's no accidents or coincidences during readings. So you may be, okay, so the Six of Blades is actually moving to calmer waters. It's going from one place to another. So somebody may be moving from one place towards another person, towards this person that they admire. Uh, they may be... Um, Okay, so there may be like um, leaving troubled water behind and going towards somewhere else. This might be a change of residence. This might be a change of, but it's something that has to do with passion. So maybe a change of um, jobs, residence. Uh, let's see, the two of rods. Okay. So there it is. There's that change. There's that move. It's taking the step. Um, this is um, this is the change. This is going for it. This is passionate adventures starting. Seeing you know the ace of rods is seeing seeing the opportunity, and the two of rods is actually taking it. So how is it gonna go? How's it gonna go? All right. We have the Two of Cups, the Two of Elixirs. This is a soulmate that you're headed to. This is something that, um, um, I'm just looking at what these labels say. Love tonic and passion. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, so this is, um, This is somebody, I, I just got like a witch's spell. <laughs> uh, this might be somebody who's kind of witchy. All right. Okay, here's the big story. Okay, so you want to have a, this is the Ace of Coins, so you want to have a new beginning, a solid new beginning with this person. Uh, in the past, there was um, some not coming together, some sort of rejection, some sort of... Um, Not seeing the opportunity, and I say that because in here I see morphine, heroin, uh, cyanide, arsenic. These are all poisons, toxins, not being in your right mind. Um, <clears throat> you thought a lot about it, and you thought a lot about about being stagnant, being stuck. Um, And then here comes the Knight of Blades. Uh, you've decided to make a decision. So um, we have wanting this um, tangible new beginning. There was some apathy, some not writing your head, some um, morphine brain going on <laughs> that left you just kind of <clears throat> stagnant, hanging there, dead. But you're done with it. You have this decision now. It came to you. It uh, Whatever this thought, it just, it was like an epiphany that happened right in your head. What is it? What is, what is the epiphany? What's the thought? What happened? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Whoa, there's another one that shot way over there. I need to finish the rest of this. Let's see. Okay. So we have this one came out. This one shot way over, and then this one. Okay. All right. You did some internal healing. The Four of Blades. Um, you are feeling pure. You're feeling refreshed and new again. You're ready for whatever this um decision is you see it as your ships coming in 
um, you you see clearly you want this new beginning. Uh, this epiphany has is life changing for you. I see, um, Taurus. Look at this. I want you to look at this. Look at these colors. Look at this morphine brain, heroin brain. The hanging guy just hanging there. Look at that mouth open. <clears throat> Look at these flowers. Look at Look at blues, blacks, bruised, icky, sad. Look at these after the epiphany. Woo! Purify rebirth. Your ships are coming in, my friend. Look at this bouquet. This wonderful new beginning. All right, let's see this Ace of, of Blades, this Ace of Swords. What more do we have to learn about this? We're gonna find out from the Star MS Gallery mini deck. What else do we have to learn from Taurus, for Taurus? What is this? What, what do we need to know about this wonderful clarity, this um, new beginning, this, uh, new beginning of clarity. Ooh, ooh, all right. Pine cone, you guys, is spiritual. This is the third eye. This is, uh, a new beginning. Maybe you might be having a new beginning in spirituality. You might be, oh, you might have been awakened. Um, you might have, okay, so, you guys, Taurus, <clears throat> it's coming, or you've been dealing with this for a long time. It's time you're ready. Okay, so um, Pinecone is one of the most spiritual cards I have in the deck. This is the third eye opening. This is um, awakening. This is really, truly um, coming into your spirituality. And with that came illumination, too. This is beautiful. Uh, whatever this change is, Taurus, whatever this epiphany, whatever um, you have decided that's going to get you out of this stagnancy, out of this, whatever you decided after this healing has, has taken place, you see your ships are coming in. Here is the clarity of this brand new beginning. Here is a totally spirit. It could be a spiritual person. It could be you finding your spirituality. It could be them showing you the way of spirituality. Uh, you may have known them for a long time. I see this as uh, this is the divine feminine. This is the divine masculine energy. Um this is, um, this might be someone from your past. This might be somebody from a past life. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. So what else? Oh, this deck is just like falling apart. Okay. So what else do we need to know? Woo. This just shot right out. And this is what a great one to shoot out, Taurus. The cosmic wheel. This is, you know, the Wheel of Fortune. This is uh, a sign from the universe. This is a, a golden opportunity for you. This is a reward headed your way. This is a chance at something new. This is um, the universe's version of the Publishers Clearinghouse knocking on your door. Um, you have an opportunity here with whatever this is, Taurus, and um, you will know, you know, if you're watching this, you know what this is. Um, so check out that awesome opportunity. Fantastic. All right, so um, let's see. What final messages do we have from the Star MS graffiti messages about, uh, you know, what Taurus needs to hear right now in this time in their life? What do we have going on for Taurus right now? All right, one pop. Let's see if another one comes up. I'll do one more shuffle. All right, this one popped and flew so far. 
Look at that, Taurus. Don't give up. No matter what, don't give up. Because it's all going to work. All right. Don't give up. Whatever you're working on, if you got some new work coming in, whatever it is, it's giving you a fist bump on it. Um, don't give up. It's going to work out. Uh, whatever, you know, the universe has turned its wheel for you, Taurus. So uh, embrace the opportunities. Now is your time. All right, Taurus, if this resonated with you, I suggest watching it again. I am um, an intuitive reader, so, you know, it's not just the cards. Whatever comes out of my mouth, the minute I turn the camera on is part of your reading. So oftentimes, the second time you watch it, you get even more clues. All right, guys, peace out. See you later. Have a good time. Wheel.